next is get the poles prepared and ready to go for the tent. Uh, if you look close here, I've taken the sander and rounded the tops of them. And that way, as it's pushing against the canvas, it won't be so rough on the edge of the canvas. What you want to do is, the, if you buy the setup kit with this, it comes with all the pins and everything that you need to do the whole tent. And uh, these are 5 16 rods. So what you want to do, you need to drill out the end of the pole a little smaller than 5 16 because you want that rod to stay in snug. You want to drill it fairly straight, so you just get something to push that pole against. Drill it down about two and a half to three inches. Take your pin, stick it in there, and just tap it on in. That's how you fill it bottom out. Okay. And you're going to do that to each one of the poles. To show you the measurement of the rope, how to get that. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. What we're going to do is, you stand. If your poles now on an officer's tent, they're right close to four foot poles. These are cut just a touch long. So we want to measure for the length of the rope. So I'm going to stand one of the ropes up, and I'm going to estimate that this is going to be the loop at the top. Okay, about about a foot down. And I want to put my stake out there about three to three and a half feet out. So I'm just going to guess right there. And then, of course, it's got to come up. you got to allow room for the knots and everything. So this is approximately, I think it's 10 foot rope for a four foot pole. And then we'll go ahead and put the blocks in. Okay. What we're going to do next is prepare the ropes so they're all ready to go. Uh, there's quite a few ropes that you need to get done. We send, uh, with the setup kit, you also get the locking blocks, all the ropes, uh, and everything you need to set the tent up, except for the wood. So what you want to do is you're going to cut all your rope to the right length, depending on the tent that you get. And uh, these blocks are a hardwood dowel, and you'll see that there's two holes drilled through them. Those holes are just a little tiny bit bigger than the rope, so the rope's a little hard to get in, so you can't have a lot of fraying on this rope. And what I like to do is trim that, and as I put it in, I start twisting the rope this way so that it, that it doesn't fray. And once that goes in, then I can grab it on this side, and you do the same thing on this side. Turn the block around, and do the same thing. You gotta twist it to get it in. And then you just tie a, a knot in the end of that. Okay, then you go to the other end of the rope. And I hold it about 10 inches, about a 10 inch loop. And then I just tie a knot in it. And that won't slide out or anything. So there's the top where it's going to go over the pin. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and get all the ropes ready to go. 